All right, so in this part, I am going over my second design, or improvement on the first design anyway, and recharging. So this is the second design. Uh, not very much different, only use two springs. Uh, cut these tops down, they didn't need to be sticking up like the previous ones. And the same, same soldering. Uh, this case uh, is actually different. So this is the original I did is an EX. This is a die hard. So the EX case has a flat top. And the die hard case has this other kind of, well, contoured top. But basically, uh, it's all the same. Uh, let's see, down in, down in here. This is about the only difference. There's this extra, whatever, tab coming across, but it doesn't interfere with anything. This version was 60 millimeters long, and I folded in eight millimeters on each end twice to have a double fold. Yeah, so then the other uh, end ones were 40 millimeters, which I also folded over twice eight, that they didn't need to be as long as the other ones. So still, the longest part of this build is soldering the wire onto these terminals and then soldering, putting them through and then soldering the wire on the back side. For setting up charging, I put these uh, new cells, which were already at I think about 3.6 volts a piece, uh, into the new battery and I taped down the sensors and did this crazy kind of uh, adapter to uh, another top so that I could have it open and take temperatures. Um, as you can see, uh, the standard Craftsman charger, uh, okay, so the normal charger or the older version of the charger uh, gave a uh, regular charging light, actually worked just fine. And then uh, when it was done, it showed a fully charge. A uh, single bright light. Uh, but with the newer version of the charger, this one uh, also showed charging. Uh, but when it got to the end of the charge cycle, instead of having the solid charge light, it went into the pulsating defective light, but it was still fully charged. So I'm not exactly sure what uh, why that is. As you can see, the chargers are bringing these batteries up to about 4.1 volts, so not fully charged. Uh, and that was about 20.5 on both of these, I believe. I'll have to recheck that when I look back at the video. So a normal NICAD is 1.2 volts, uh, and there's 16 of them, so that's 19.2. Uh, usually they get charged to about 1.3, which comes out to be 20.8 volts. And the lithium cells are normally 3.7 volts, uh, but charge up to 4.2, which is about, well, 21 volts. So these chargers are charging underneath or stopping before that, but it's still pretty close. So I think in maybe the next video relating to these, uh, if I, if or when I do another version, uh, I'll still try to find some different terminals instead of trying to make my own. Uh, even if I do, they're still probably going to be difficult to solder in or place. But uh, I'll see when I do that one anyway. All right, any questions? 
Add them in the comments below.